Let's get it. Yo, 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 nation. What we doing? What we doing, man? We back in the lab. Read the creator. Y'all already know what it is. Creator Nation. We in the studio. We cooking up in the creator lab. And I got some pieces I want to cook up today on camera. I've been neglecting y'all. I already know I ain't uploading nothing about a month and a half. I know y'all on my head. Y'all probably want to kick my ass right now, man. <laughs> but I'm back. <laughs> Let's get it. Yo, 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 nation. What we doing? What we doing, man? We back in the lab. Read the creator. Y'all already know what it is. Creator Nation. We in the studio. We cooking up in the creator lab. And I got some pieces I want to cook up today on camera. I've been neglecting y'all. I already know I ain't uploading nothing about a month and a half. I know y'all on my head. Y'all probably want to kick my ass right now, man. <laughs> but I'm back. You know how we doing. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to crank the heat press up so that can be warming up while we uh chop it up and i let y'all know what's going on and where i've been at and you know what's going on for 2024 so it's the first day of the year happy new year to anybody that's watching this we're gonna get this uploaded the same day so i can make sure y'all getting a happy new year from me the same day first day of the year january 1st 2024 man y'all know what it is so i got two crew necks in here right and i had recently just did a drop uh probably like a few months back where i did this piece called art over hype and i did it on the hoodie where i cropped the hoodie I changed the strings on the hoodie and then I distressed it a little bit and I printed like some suede vinyl. So I'm redropping that same piece. The only difference this time is, <coughs> should have brought a bottle of water back here, but only piece different this time is going on a crew neck sweater. And yeah, that's really the only difference, but I'm gonna crop it and I'm gonna distress it a little more. But yeah, I figured this is a good piece uh, that I should cook up on camera since I ain't been cooking that up. And it's something that's kind of detailed. It ain't just a basic one little color print. You know what I mean? I got to do a few colors. It's a big jumbo design. I got to crop the crew neck up. So I'm like, you know, what better way to pop it off and come back strong with something like this. I got two of them, but I'm only going to do one. And yeah, the heat press already heating up. So really what I've been doing, man, I've been practicing. I've been getting my podcast on trial and error. I did like five episodes. And knowing me, you know how I do, I get into my modes where I ain't really, they was cool, but you know, I want to put out quality content at the end of the day. So I'm actually working on the actual first few episodes that's going to really drop and be listed on the website uh, coming out this month or whatever. And then I already got the website up and content on the website, but I just wanted to make sure it was all the way right. So yeah, the podcast is definitely coming. Book club, movie club, music club, all that is uh, basically already out since the website is up. You can tap in on the Instagram page at Creator Club. Y'all know Creator is spelled C-R-E-A-T-R. But yeah, Creator Club on Instagram. That's the handle on everything else too. The website is up. Creator Nation website is up. Uh, y'all know y'all can go in there and shop. Get the ultimate discount. Use the code Creator Nation. And that's going to let me know y'all came from YouTube. And you're going to get the super discount on top of the discount that's already on the site. Only y'all get that because the brand was really made for my YouTube people. So I can't be taxing y'all on the gear. You know how we coming. But yeah, man. And if you don't know, every order on Creator Nation comes with something free. So even if something do look a little expensive or it's out of your price range, just know it do come with a free item. It's randomized, but it's always going to be something free. Free shirt, free hat, free socks, something free going to come in every order with CreatorNation.com orders. You know how we do. And Heatwave Creations, if y'all want me to print. I know I never really spoke on this, but I do get a lot of people asking me, like, would I print for their brands and print for other brands? So that's what I technically do. I don't only print my own brand, I only design for my own brand. I print and design for other brands as well. So if y'all do need services uh, as far as cups, shirts, hoodies, sweaters, design, info, insight, all that, just hit me up, bro. I'm sure if I can be a help, I would help as long as I got time. You know, I'm always trying to make my time. So that's we big on this year. We getting stuff done. We going hard. We linking up. We networking and we leveling up with the people that's rocking with us. And that's what it is. So. We're going to jump into this video. We're going to do this Art Over Hype crew neck, man. And yeah, we got a lot coming, a lot in store, more content, quality content dropping, and a lot of projects on the way. And yeah, I'm trying to get everybody that's around me on board and push everybody to get something going with what they got going as well, and <clears throat> so I can be behind them. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to jump right into it, and then yeah, we're going to keep this day rolling, man. First day of the year, let's get it. Let me show y'all what we're cooking up. Going to pull this crew neck on out, man. Let's get we're gonna crop it first because that's what I gotta do first. So we're gonna go on and crop it on up. Alright, y'all. So we're gonna start by cropping these. Go ahead and get the crop on. You know how we coming. 
So, of course, what I do, personally, my way of chopping it, I just take it from this base. I start a little hole right here, and I stay as close to this line of possible. So, I just, you know, chop it just enough to get this in between there. Then I just go around it. But I stay on this little line right here where the thread in is already at, as y'all can see. So, yeah. All right, now that we got the bottom cropped off of that, boom, that's the, that's the crop bottom. You know what I'm saying? Now it's officially a cropped crew neck. Technically, how we rocking, you know what I'm saying? That's how we rocking. And I think this is a small gray crew neck, so it's gonna be mine. <laughs> so we cropping that and we cropping the sleeves on it. So next, I want the sleeve to be cropped exactly the same length i don't want to crop them two um one longer than the other or one shorter than the other basically the same thing so we're going to line that like that make sure the sleeves are exactly aligned up and you're going to need different type of scissors you know what i mean so you got to get some thicker scissors for some of this stuff but overall i'm using regular scissors as y'all can see nothing special Now, where my scissors go. All right. Now, what I do is I just do like this. I take the scissors and then I, I put them on there like that. And I just cut it enough where I can start the hole on both sleeves. And then I can see it. And it's in the exact same spot now. So now you can see that exact same spot. Boom, boom. Now I can go and do one sleeve and then the other or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. One sleeve, one and done. Boom, the other one's right here. Same exact spot, as y'all can see. All right, so we got both sleeves cut off. Now, sleeves are the exact same length, that's that. And we good to go. All right, bet. So we got the uh, bottom crop. We got the sleeves cropped to the exact length. Now we're going to stretch the bottom of this. And there's no right or wrong way to really do this. This is just me just doing what I want to do. This is how I wanted to create. This is how I come up with it. You can take it as far as you want. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stretch the bottoms and the uh, sleeves. So I'm going to start by just what I do. When I do mine is I cut it like this. I go one way with small slits. Like this. Hold on, y'all. Damn. I heard somebody at the door now. They're trying to finish this cutscene up. I knew I wasn't tripping, y'all. My brother came, man. We had a brief intermission. Had to go run and get something to eat right quick. But I'm back. So like I was saying, I cut it going one way like I was doing originally before he came and um kidnapped me to go get something to eat. I cut it this one way, and then I come back the opposite way like this. So this is how I do mine. But you can really do it however you want, man, however the distress you want. But it's just what I've been doing lately. So I come back the opposite way the same way. And then once I do that, then I take this and kind of just do like this. And then, you know, I just go as detailed as I want, but I'm doing that so I can kind of keep all of them on the same style. So when it's, when it's, you know, ripped up a little bit, they all on the same style. I don't want to have them looking too much, too different, you know, but ain't, it ain't going to be exactly the same every time because you can't get it, you know, it's hand did. So you know how that go. But yeah, we're going to do that one like that. I'm going to do the same thing to this. 
Hold up, though. This one, a little wrinkle. It's a little wrinkle. I got to invest in I'm going to get on Amazon today, too, man. It's 2024. No plan. I'm going to get on Amazon and get back to spending. Going to buy some new seals, new exacto knives, all type of little tools and stuff that I've been needing to help me out with all of this. But so far, though, you know, I'm always going to make it work. All right, boom, that's that. I'm going to come back the opposite way. And since this is a sample, you know, I can play with it a little more. I ain't got to worry about it. This ain't the official one, but it's the sample. Because it's dropping this week, so we cooking. We're going to do the same thing for the bottom right here, too. No different. So y'all can see we got a light little, you know, light distressing going on at the bottom. See it pretty good. You know what I mean? Both sides. Not too much, nothing too crazy. Some light. Same thing for the sleeves. Nothing too crazy. You know, that's how we gonna do that. Keep it simple, but yet it's still, you know, little arts and craft, art over hype. That's the name of the crew neck. So I already got one of the O's for it cut out. So I only got to cut out the actual full print. And then this is going to be flock vinyl. Y'all can see it's kind of thick, whatever flock vinyl. So yeah, we're going to go on and cut that out. And then we're going to jump into the actual print of it now since we had that distress. And I could go as, like I said, as far as I want and keep turning it up if I want to. But this cool right now. It's cool for now. We good with this. We're going to run with this, y'all. I ain't going to turn it up no more. I think this is good enough. This is a dope, dope crew neck. All right, here we go. So y'all can see the light distress on the bottom. A little light distressing, you know, both sides. Back and the front. We already got the old printed out too, so I just got to print out the full print and then two other letters that's in different colors. But yeah, light distressing on the sleeve, as you can see. Both sleeves. So yeah, we just got to print it out. So we're going to cut on the vinyl cut and jump right into it. Damn, man. I don't know if this is enough. I got this. But I ain't. I should have. I should have checked the uh, vinyl before I said I was gonna be able to do this project. But I gotta finesse it. Y'all know I'm the finesse god, so I might can finesse it, man, and make something happen. But this really need to be this whole. I need this little piece right here to do what I'm trying to do. We gonna see how I can finesse it though, man. Y'all know I always come up with some, so hopefully I can come up with some. I'm gonna load this on up though. Let's see how I gotta finesse. Dang. Might need to turn it this way. Without that, I don't know how the hell I do that. Nesting though. Alright, here we go. It's 
all I got left. And I might have a little piece or two in the uh in my vinyl cubby, but we gonna see first. First we're gonna weed this on out. All right, the reason why I'm saying I got to finesse this is because normally I would cut it out and it would be three rows already and it would be spaced out how it need to be spaced out and I wouldn't have to cut this to separate it. But since I didn't have enough vinyl, I got to do it this way this time and just put these on here separate one by one. So normally I could just put the whole thing on there, press it one time. But I don't got the vinyl to do that today. I got to finesse it for y'all, which it seems like I always end up having to do, but it's cool. It's going to go on here like that. It's going to go on there like that. And I just got to cut out the last part. Boom. Y'all already see how it's coming to life. This right here is my uh my suede tag. So I'm going to show y'all how I put the tag uh, inside there. Basically, this is going to go up in here, though. So y'all see, we're coming to life. We're going to get it right. We're going to get it right. We're going to get the camera angle right, too. As soon as I figure out if I got enough to cut out this. I don't know if I got enough. Let me see something. Hold on. Matter of fact, this is how I can tell. Hmm. AR. If I had to cut out AR. Okay, so I may have enough. We're going to see, though. Let me see if I got some more black in here first before I just jump to the conclusion. Because I might have a little more, a little piece in here somewhere. I just can't remember. Damn, come on, man. I have a little piece in here. Nope, not this time. And I'm not about to look through that scrap box. That's dead, bro. So let's just try to run it. Let's see some. Let's just try to run it. Right, so y'all see it only chipped it right there on the edge just a little bit so what i'm gonna do is be a g and i'm just gonna take the scissors and balance that out just enough to where it don't look crazy just enough where it don't look crazy and it can still go for an o i meant the r i'm talking about the o see that ain't bad it can still pass because it's suede. Like, it ain't perfect, but it's a sample in this for me. So y'all get the picture. When I got the real amount of vinyl, damn, we wouldn't have to worry about that. Don't be tripping. <laughs> Don't be tripping, nation. Y'all know how we coming, man. We just trying to trying to show y'all how we cook up with a regular heat press in the vinyl cut and make a, you know, a, a kind of like a luxury piece or a premium piece or whatever you want to call it. Something you can sell and put a little nice price tag on it. Then you know if I, I ain't got no hang tags here right now, but if you wanted to, you could hang tag it up and all that. So look, we got the A, we got the R. You know what I mean? Pull this down, slide it down some more. Pull this down some more. So it's gonna be. It's, it's basically how it's gonna be. Everything good. I just gotta get the A and the R on point. But I already know how I'm gonna do that because I gotta do a black one too. So what I'm gonna do to make this easy on myself, I'm gonna go and cut out a four one and white right quick. That way. I can align it perfect. Y'all know I got that same method I always use. Sometimes you gotta go back to your old roots, even in the new year. Oh, I got a P too, I forgot. Damn, it fell. Okay, so boom, we already got a P. Yeah, it's lit.
Like, give me all that. Now we get it. Now that I got my little reference sheet, I can do this like this. Make sure it's in the right exact spot. Y'all know how I'm coming, man. Y'all know how we do it. Every time, gotta put this right here first and make sure it's where it's supposed to be at. That way I ain't gotta be tripping on them. You know what I'm saying? Easy. So basically, this is my reference. That's all. I'm gonna pull this up as far as I can get it to go up where it don't come off the bottom of the sweater. Right now, hold up. Let me get this right. All right. Lick. Cause I might have cut this a little too big. Oh, no. It's perfect. Because I want it maxed out, though. Size-wise. So, now. Yeah. Size-wise, maxed out. Here we go. I'm going to line that up right here. Perfectly aligned. That's that. We're going to line down. Over up. Like that. And then we're going to put this. This the main one. This R and this T. I mean, this R and this A. That's the R. That's the A. So now, lift that up. And it's in the right spot now. So I don't have to worry, you know? And then, like I said, this black P and this black O not going on here. So basically, I'm going I'm to take that off. And I'm only going to press this. And the only thing we're missing now is the T, which is going to be in green uh, suede flock vinyl. And then, that's the whole print. And then I got to cut out the sense forever that's going to go down here at the bottom. And that's it. And it's going to look just like this. Basically. Since forever, whole thing, that's the whole thing right there. And then that white one gonna go on the black sweater when I get time to do it. It's almost hot enough to iron. Like I said, I'm only doing this just enough to get it to stick. Because one thing about this flock vine, it'll move on you quick. It will move around quick. So I'm just doing this just to get it to stay down. And then I can transfer it to the heat press without it sliding on me. Now, if it was just that one big cut out like the white, I wouldn't even have to do all this. All right, we lit, y'all. That's it. It should be down enough so I can, yeah, I can move it now. I ain't got to worry about it shifting on me. So we good to go. See what I'm saying? All right, bitch, y'all. So we lit. Got this stuck on here. We good. It ain't going to fall off. It ain't going to move on me. As y'all can see, Art Over Hype is the uh, sweater. And yeah, that's what we running. So all I got to do now is press all of it, let it cool off, peel it back, press it again, and then we're going to put the tag in here, like I said. So... I got the hat press turned on for the tag. We're gonna use the uh, hat press to press the tag on the inside. And yeah, you can know if you got like a hang tag or something, you want to turn it up even more to make it more premium and get them, you know, a little bang for their buck <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. You can turn it up how you want to. But so far, like I said, we cropped the sleeves, the stretch those, cropped the bottom, the stretch those. We're gonna put a size tag in it. It's suede printed, art over height. It's very nice. The packaging gonna be nice when we ship it out and all that, man. And yeah, I'm just really showing you how you can cook up with a regular size heat press 15 by 15 heat press uh regular hat press and you know vinyl cutter right at your crib and you can cook up premium wear if you think outside the box and just try stuff you know you just got to be open to doing your own thing and don't worry about what nobody else doing and you know create so it's almost ready okay the heat press back warmed up because i had to cut it off while the iron was on so we good now Good now. So since I don't got a giant heat press or so 16 by 20, I gotta move it around, but we all good. Hold up, press still high from them jackets I was doing. Oh shit, I turned it down too much. Not enough now. I meant too much. Right, there, we go. there we go. I don't want to over press it, so I'm gonna lift it up kind of early just to go on it. Sorry to iron it. I just want to kind of go on it, get it peeled off to the suede so that I can um, lift it up and then hit it. 
get it again. I don't want to burn it though. I don't want to overheat it. Let's get it. Let's see, it should be cool enough to peel it up now. Really, this is not the right green. It's supposed to be a darker green, but for now, I'm going to use this. And then when I go get the vinyl, I'm going to cover up this tea with the right green. But I had to use this green because I ran out. But it's really a darker uh, green flock that I use. It's two different shades of it. So, you know, I just had for the video, I had to go ahead and do that for y'all, though. I might have had to finish the project up. I should have I should have did my due diligence and check to make sure I had all the vinyl before I jumped into the video. But hey, it still came out great, so it ain't even So that's it. Everything is weeded off, as y'all can see. That's clean. So here we are. Like I said, it's not regular vinyl. So if you don't know what flock is or suede flock is, then I'm showing you today. And if you do know, then you know it's lit. I got everybody stuck on puff, man. So people don't really be knowing about the flock and reflective. They be sleep on it. So, you know, I'm bringing it back. While everybody's stuck on the puff, I'm, I'm back on this quality material. Look at that. Look at that. Look just like suede. Look just like the suede, don't it? I know. I know. <laughs> right at your crib, man. Cook it up. I don't want to hear no excuses on why you can't, you know what I mean, why you ain't in the, in the game and why you can't compete with the big dogs. You can make some of them same pieces if you get creative. Vinyl cutter, heat press, scissors. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. Make it happen. All right, bet. So we got that right. I'm going to press all this again to make sure it's down because you want to make sure it's going to last. And this is the close thing you're going to get to like a material, like a garment material, the flock. It's like a, almost like a cotton, but like I said, a suede. You can see the lint on it. But yeah, we're going to do that, and then we're going to put it. And I use the same tag so they can last when they wash it. So we're going to use a suede square, and then we're going to print on top of that with the actual size. So yeah, let's jump into it. Let's press this again. Here we go. I'm lifting mine before it beats because I don't want to press it too much in the same spot because I know I got to press it over and over, being that it's, you know, it's a big design. And I'm about to go on the grab me a new heat press, man, this time. It's time to go 16 by 20. It's about that time. I think it's time I treat myself. I've been grinding it out and I deserve it. I'm investing in so much new equipment this year's time, man. Got a lot of stuff up my sleeve. All right, so that's that. Boom. Now, we good on that. So now we're going to bring it over here to the hat press. Sit that on on there. I'm going to make sure it's in the exact same spot. You can see where the tag was ripped out, so it's right here. I'm going to sit that on on there like that. And I got to find my little black square that I have because I done lost the shit. Damn, what I do with it, man? Come on now. I just had it. Here we go. Ugh. Bet, so we're gonna take this. Take this little square right here. We're gonna put that on there like that. If you got some tape, tape it down. I'm just being a, uh, a super pro and not needing to do all that. But if you got some tape or something, tape it down so it could be in the right spot. All right, boom. Now we got our black square. We're gonna let that cool off. Let that cool off. Let me see if I got some pre-cut tags already. And I got different style tags for different designs, but for my hoodies and stuff, I try to always put a suede square or something down, y'all. Quick little 
weed right quick. See what I'm saying? Easy. These are tags that I came up with for my brand. You know, that's a video for another day on making tags. I feel like I already uploaded a video on how to make tags. But if, you know, I know people don't go back sometimes, so I may have to do it again. But if you haven't, I got to look on my, I can't even remember. I'm not the loop of my own damn page, for real, for real. But y'all see, quick little tag peel and weed. And that's it. Boom, there we go. Then the creator nation, small size, simple tag right quick. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and peel that on off. Boom, there we go. And what I like to do is press this one more time first to cover with a Teflon. I bought a Teflon and then I just cut it up for smaller pieces. And that'll be that. Put this up here like this in your perfect position. And that's it. Press it. Now we got our size tag, as you can see, A1 quality, perfect square cut, size small, authentic credit nation. If it don't got the authentic credit nation tag in it, then it's fake and they bootleg it. And then that means I made it. <laughs> That's it so far. We good to go. We're going to cut the hat press on off. All right, one last press. Boom. Boom. For the sense forever on the bottom, and then we go into the photo room. That'll be it. Hat press already turned off. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap, that's a wrap, that's a wrap. That's a wrap, that's a wrap, that's a wrap. Let's take it to the photo room, man, so I can finish chopping it up with y'all and then see the finished product in good lighting. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Y'all gotta excuse the little dirt on the uh, backdrop. I'm waiting on the fresh road to come in, but overall, y'all get the picture. We done. Art over hype since forever. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Red suede, yellow suede, green suede like i said it's not the right green but it'll do for the day and i'm gonna cover that up with the correct one for me so when i rock it i don't be looking foo foo out here with the authentic tab we got the authentic credit nation tag with the infinity symbol size small got the art over height you know what i'm saying and we got the sense forever at the bottom three different color letters that was just my concept of the design we just stretched the bottom we just stretched the sleeves Stretch the sleeves. Hey, that's what we doing. And like I said, if you got like a hang tag or something, I would put a good little hang tag on it. You can turn it up as much as you want. And that's just something to, you know, add more to it, add more flavor. And then, you know, dope packaging for it as well. That'll be lit. But overall, this is a dope hoodie that I just made right now from a heat press and the vinyl cutter in the lab, at the crib, whatever you want to call it, uh, print room, print studio, wherever you at. It don't matter, outside. But if you got that heat press in your vinyl cutter, you can make pieces like this, bro. You know what I mean? You can make quality merch or quality uh fashion or gear or whatever you want to call it some people don't like to call that stuff merch so i get it but yeah art over hype since forever suede vinyl and like i said you can tell that's not no regular vinyl when you feel it you really can tell but yeah that's what it is suede tag printed and sometimes i do like reflective tag too and that'll make it stand out even more but that's what it is i just wanted to show y'all this uh how you can cook up at the house 15 by 15 heat press regular vinyl cutter it don't matter what you got and then i also want to let y'all know what was to come for 2024 man so a lot of new content we're gonna cook up some detail and more uh you know exclusive pieces the podcast all that stuff is on the way stay tuned if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel if you have i appreciate it and yeah we're gonna get on up out of here but more content coming on the daily i ain't gonna lie stay tuned y'all